Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Mead campaign for Thrones of Britannia. And we are sieging the final settlement that is not under our control in Ireland, which is one of the settlements from Castle. And I probably will fight this one if I can. It's a pretty solid garrison, though, so I may need a few more troops. Uh, they've got a lot of mailed Fianna here, which are definitely a solid unit. I've got some current Axemen, which should be good, and uh, a unit of Eric Warband as well as a unit of uh, mailed Fianna. But I'm not sure if I'd be able to take them on just due to the fact that they will have the city, so I may have to pull someone else back if I can. Or what I'll do is probably allow them to take one, one turn's worth of attrition and then move in and actually fight that battle. Because to unite all of Ireland, it would be nice for us to have one final battle, I think. And then I was looking at the diplomacy as to who I was going to go to war with next. And Wessex is very, very strong. They still do have a lot of vassals. And the Stratclut faction over here is also very, very powerful. So I kind of want to establish a beachhead first off. So I think I'm going to go for Gwened first and kind of take northern Wales. And then I'll have a good staging ground to either decide to go up against uh, Wessex or Stratclute. Now, Wessex is first overall, followed by myself, and then Stratclute is third. So we've got the big three ready to duke it out. And I do need to destroy probably Wessex, I would say, to at least attain the victory objectives. If we take a look at them here... Long Conquest Victory Control 100 Settlements. So I'm, I'm over halfway there. And uh, I need to control three more provinces, which is very close. Uh, so we're going for this here. I mean, I could go for the ultimate victory. Then eliminate the Viking Invasion Fleet. So I could look to do that, but we've already beaten the campaign on most of them. It's just the Long Conquest Victory that we're still uh, looking to do. Now, there's not too much else I can do. Let's take a look at our provinces and see if we can upgrade any of them again don't really want things that affect public order these guys are low on food but they will get the tithe tide barn in there soon oh what were we putting here maybe scribes that would be a good building to put in. Would give money for the church as well. So yeah, let's let's get a scribe building in there. And are we upgrading the gold? Yes, we are. Now, the only thing that I'm super nervous about is once I do go to war with some of the English factions, it's going to be very hard for me to cover my shores from invasion fleets. So that's one thing that I'm going to have to really watch. I'm probably only going to send two uh, really good armies over there and then leave the rest of my armies to kind of keep public order and to protect my borders. So I'll probably outfit two, two armies with my best units. And I'll also probably take um, quite a few turns to wait for our technology to go up so I can get some good units before I uh, move forwards. But let's go ahead and end the turn. Not too much else I can do at this point. And Mercia is pretty much almost destroyed. They were who I was going to go for first because they're not really well liked in England. But Wessex has just bulldozed them. So uh, looks like another uh, faction there. South Seeks has been destroyed. War Fervor has gone down, looks like. A couple of forces have taken attrition. Uh, yeah, still getting rid of these Tide Barns here. They just had a ton of them. Uh, let's get a Scry building here as well, I think. And let's get rid of that. I don't really... It costs money, and I don't really need that, to be honest. Uh, some more demolitions, which is fine. And we got this technology, so plus six melee skill for sword and axe infantry units. That's really good. Now we're going to get some Wolfhounds and Foreign Warriors unlocked in a few turns. And I will actually look to put some Scribe buildings in a lot of my 
provincial capitals because they actually do increase our research rate quite a bit as far as giving us giving us um, money from the church. So yeah, let's look to put those in anywhere we can. Actually, it might, might be worth to get rid of that church and put the scribe in there, but public order is important as well, I know. So they're going to need a tide, or they're going to need a water mill there. Getting a scribe there. Uh, they're pretty good on public order. I kind of want to just get rid of this building. Let's get rid of that, and we'll put a scribe building there. Let's upgrade that one. Put one in there already. There's one in there. Seven turns, they can get one. Upgrade that tide barn there. And yeah, we're just waiting on you. That's why you guys are a little bit unhappy. Okay, fair enough. So I think these two armies will be the ones that we're going to send over. So let's get them here. War is what we do best. And we'll keep pushing these ones forwards more. So what can we recruit here? Can get more mailed Fianna, which are much better. Uh, let's get rid of these archers here. So we've got four of them. That's more than enough. And these spear raiders are actually much better than these ones. So we'll get three and three. That's six. Four spears for the center. That's 18. Should I get some more of these, I wonder? Or maybe some more cav. I've proven to be pretty useful. Or I have these, these skirmisher cap have proven themselves quite useful, so maybe another unit of them would be good. Yeah, these foreign warriors are awesome. I want to get a couple of those, I think. So yeah, let's leave that for now and see. Unparalleled. Get them yeah, two more turns for there. I've got 3k still to throw somewhere. So maybe more cloth. Uh, salts, nope. And just anywhere else I can upgrade. Oh. No, don't want to do that. Although, I mean, our public order here is pretty good. Or I can just save it, because I'm going to have a lot of buildings that have been destroyed. So, to replace all of them with the water mills that I need, I should just save that extra K. And I thought about going north first and facing the Viking factions, but I would rather just go up against Wessex or Stratclute now before they get too strong, because Wessex is already a powerhouse. It's insane. Unassigned skilled governor. He's got five for his loyalty, so that's good. 
This governor is three, though. We should probably secure his loyalty a little more. Okay, so let's get you over here. Got one mailed Fianna available. Is this all in the same province? Yeah, it looks like. You can count on us. Expect great yeah, you can't get over here in time because I want to see no. if the so recruitment pool is different uh, in different areas. So let's Move let's actually on. send you over here. I want to see if there's uh, better units available in Difflin. And Kaisel, so you need a water mill, a great cross. I never really bothered with the library. That would also give extra research rate. But... No, no, to any of those. No to that. So, I guess the toolmaker... Gives some extra tradable resources and money from industry. Could maybe look to upgrade that. 6k though, that is really expensive. Things of use, what do I want? You need something here, probably your water mill, yeah, because you're losing food. Ooh, this building is good. And more morale faction-wide. Yeah, we'll upgrade that. It's quite expensive, but it's worth it. We want that extra morale for fighting against Wessex for sure. So, looking at the public order, because there's not really anything I really need right now. So, now looking at the public order, whichever ones I can upgrade churches in would probably be the best option. Although I don't even have enough money now, I guess. Yeah, why not? That's fine there. And I think uh, two more turns, and then we'll be going in. Or I don't know if they'll take the attrition on the next turn or not. Can get three more towers while I'm waiting as well. That will help our odds. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll total up all of my armies and see how many I actually want to bring. But I'm thinking I want a 20 stack in each of the four corners. And then maybe a floating 10 stack kind of in the center to move around as needed. And then the rest of them I'll just send over to deal with Gwened. But I think they're strength rank 11, so they're pretty powerful, but not as powerful as us. Train fighter, so wolfhounds and foreign warriors. So actually, I should look if I could get some of those foreign warriors in here. Wait, how do I... There we go. No shield. Melee damage, 65. Wow. So that'd be a 20 stack there. Yeah. 
So we'll have five swords there. Are these Warhounds any good? Uh, I mean, probably not. I don't think that they're any good. Might as well just get another unit of cavalry, I think. So yeah, we'll have four spears. We'll have six or five swords. Two of those axes. And we've got our four javelins uh, and a lot of cavalry. I think that will be a good army there. And then you, let's get you to Diflin here. Already. Yeah, and all of you guys can upgrade. What's available here, though? Oh, so it looks like it's pretty close to the same recruitment pool. We'll get rid of you for sure. And we'll get rid of you too, because you're pretty weak. And we'll get rid of you as well. How, how much does that cost? 9,000. My goodness. Yeah, so that's pretty much all of our money there. Just retrofitting these armies. Man, I'd love to get some artillery too, but I haven't even started going through that that line of technology yet. So, have they taken attrition here? No, they should take they should take attrition next turn though. Looks like I'm taking a bit of attrition. Don't know why that is, or maybe it's because of the winter. Not too sure. We'll have to keep an eye on that though, because if I take too much attrition, then it might not outweigh the attrition that they're taking inside the settlement. But the interns are going a lot faster as Success factions are getting destroyed, power. so. Fervor, so minus five corruption for Falkar. Well done. Looks like a few have leveled up here, so he's five. That's good, so let's get quartermaster for him. Six, he's he's really loyal. And seven, you're loyal as well, so we'll give you quartermaster. Ooh, yeah, so they've taken a lot of attrition, so I think we'll go in now against them. Get them nigh. But we'll finish up a few more things over here. Are eager to get to it. Let's get you guys over to this side. Ready for action. No more swords are available here. Actually, was there... There is one Eric Horseman available. So, yeah. Sorry, not sorry. Get rid of you, because I want two good horses and two horse boys, plus my general. The men are eager to get to it. And I can actually get gold units in here right now. So maybe I should just... See, because I've got five spears here. And I've got my four horsemen that I want. So getting three of them. And hopefully I can get one more, which I'll drop in there next turn. And then if an Eric Warband becomes available, I'll drop the Mailed Fianna and put the Eric Warband in there. And I think that will be a solid second army. So all of these armies that are moving over here. So I have this army up at, on this side, which is good. And I've got this army over here, which is a nice location as well. This army will be down in the south. And this army will kind of be the southeast, whereas this one will be southwest. 
And then this six stack, let's put them kind of right in the center. So yeah, we do have quite a few armies that we could send over there. What's what's in this army? Oh, a lot of axes. Pretty much the same recruitment pool. What about here for you guys? Also very much the same. So the is the recruitment pool, I thought it would change from province to province, but it looks like it's almost the same faction wide. Interesting. So yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll swap some of these units over into a better army. Cause I could have six units of Eric Warban and then four axes, and this could just be a super heavy heavy hitting army. For the prince. The men are eager to get to it. But right now I kinda want everyone to get gold. See so yeah, let's get you. Oh no no no. Upgrade. And you can have an upgrade as well. I feel like Oprah. You get an upgrade, and you get an upgrade. Look under your chair. There's level three armor for everyone. Anyways, let's go ahead and go in and fight this one. We've got a lot of siege towers, so we shouldn't really take any damage as we move in. And hopefully we can capture the gates quickly enough. They don't have any cavalry, so we should be able to get our cavalry inside and just decimate them. And then this will effectively put all of Ireland under our control. Send them packing. All right, guys, welcome to the final battle before we unite all of Ireland under our control. The Kingdom of Ireland also... Oh, gosh, come on. All right, guys, welcome to the battlefield. And I've got all my siege towers over on this left-hand side to attack this large section of wall. But I've also got a small... Uh, secondary detachment, if you will, over on this side that will move over towards the gate and also to draw some of those units from the main wall. Looks like we got some Freeman Spearmen running around, but we've got Freeman Spears, Mailed Fianna, Surf Archers, and Freeman Javelin over on this flank. But let's go ahead and start to push forwards our Siege Towers. Is that really as close as we can get it, eh? Looks like. Yeah, let's uh, spread these out if we can here. Shift it up now. Swordsmen, attack! That's kind of weird that we can only attack so close there, but archers. let's get archers. our archers moving forwards as well. Oh, I know how to win a siege battle, thanks. Appreciate Shift it, though. Let's get uh, javelins, it. let's keep Hurry in behind up. for a little while. And I'm going to take my swords and actually move them over to this flank to help and flank around this defense here. You can see they've got their mailed Fiano. That's a tier 3 unit, so it's nothing to scoff at for sure. Um, I'm going to wait with this until I start to win over on this side. But yeah, I would be terrified if I was inside the settlement right now. And it looks like the archers are beginning to fire down. We're being fired on! My archers all should be firing. It looks like they are. And now I'll start to move forwards my javelins. And we're just about to see... Looks like they're actually abandoning the walls. I was about to say we're just about to see a clash on the walls, but it looks like they're going to give it up completely. Go, my gales! Charge down into the city. Take all of them prisoner. Hit 
There we go. Got some Axemen coming in over here. Let's actually get our Javelins over here a little bit and move uh, forwards the Archers a little closer as well. And let's get these guys moving closer so that they're able to jump right all over the walls on the Siege Tower as well. So how are the units doing? Uh, let's try and flank around this mailed Fienna, actually. Yeah, we're muscling through over here. Oh, let's get these guys up on the walls here. Oh yeah, starting to starting to break them already. And they should be starting to peel off some units over here, I would imagine. Or it looks like they won't. Interesting. Let's actually move our archers over here then to fire down on them. And just allow the... Actually, javelins can stop firing. They have done their job. This mailed Fian over here, though, being really brave. Fighting on all sides. Have they just slaughtered all of them? Yeah, it looks like. Wow. Okay, go after that mailed Fianna that is withdrawing. We're just about to capture this uh, this tower here. And yep, archers, archers are starting to fire down onto the flanks, which is exactly what I wanted. Can actually move these over a little bit so that I can get some rear shots on them. And here we go. We're going to have a nice charge here. Well done into the mailed Fianna. Let's get a unit behind if they don't break right away. And let's start moving our forces up here a bit to cut off their retreat. I don't think they have any units in the town center, or if they do, it's their general. We're being fired on. Oh yeah, these these Freeman Javelin are probably getting just destroyed. We're getting shot at. Protect our town. Well, it's not going to be your town much longer, I'm afraid. Yeah, the spears are starting to pull off. Let's go after the javelins here. Let's watch uh, this charge to the backs of the mailed Fianna. My Eric Warband going in. Nice. I wonder when the Blood and Gore DLC is going to be added to Thrones of Britannia. Usually it's like a week after the game actually comes out, but it's been quite a while and still haven't seen anything out yet. So they are broken. Let's um, focus on these guys. Archers, let's go after the mailed Fianna that's sitting on the walls here. I'm not going to engage them with uh, melee infantry if I can just shoot at them from afar like this. That's another thing I've noticed in Thrones of Britannia too, is that archers are not really as powerful as previous Total Wars. But anyways, I'll let my archers do their thing. 
Uh, let's actually send up the current Axemen to deal with those units, and let's slide up behind them here. And at this point, I'm going to get my spears moving forwards to keep these guys uh, distracted. I had a little brain fart there. I wanted to say subtracted, but that was not the word I was looking for. So let's keep fire in there. Let's bring the uh, Airy Warband over. Nope, Mailed Vienna. Which are also Tier 3. Oh no, they're gonna run. They're not going to engage in the charge. Very nice. Let's get this unit around. Let's get the mailed Fianna into there as well. Archers, I think, have done their job. Let's pull them back. And I'm not even sure that my general is going to be able to do anything this turn. Or uh, this battle. Might be able to cap the town center or route them before he even has a chance to get in there. Got the battering ram moving forwards here. We can move some more of the uh, spear raiders forwards. And the cab we can bring up a little bit. General just behind. Yeah, they're just breaking now. The battle is over. And we're just starting to capture the gatehouse, which is excellent. Uh, this unit of Kern Axemen is actually starting to waver a little bit. Uh, they have taken a fair few losses, though, down to 51 men. Yeah, I haven't seen their general yet. Oh, there he is. Oh, he broke right away. We'll, uh, we'll still charge into him. Cut him down. Because this would, I believe, be the general's bodyguard. Let's bring my general in to take care of him and the Eric, Eric Horseman. Because they should be able to come in now that we've captured the gates. There we go, we've got him. We'll fight until the general is dead, and then we will end the battle there. Got the uh, flag bearer in the back. Man, some pretty grisly animations, I will say. But it'd be real. It would be much more immersive if it did have the Blood and Gore DLC. Like I'll, I'll, I'll pay the three dollars and fifty cents it takes to buy it. That's not, not really an issue for me. But, and I think that's it. Gone and gone. So let's go ahead and end the battle there. A decisive victory. I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. And there we have it. So, Castle has been finally destroyed. They've lost their entire army. Most of my kills going to my current Axemen doing really well. This one, 204 kills. Uh, so, I lost 400 men, but... Uh, yes. No units completely. And... Oh, that's kind of disappointing. I thought there would have been a cutscene when we took over all of Ireland. Well, that's deflating. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. That's why they had such a good garrison. They had the town militia there.
get rid of that too. We'll put a scribe building into it. And uh, I think that's where we're going to leave it for today, guys. So I do hope you enjoyed this episode. We finally united all of Ireland under our control. The Kingdom of Ireland and the Kingdom of Flan, our late king who did not live long enough to realize his dream of a united Ireland. He came close, though. I think it was when we f first declared war on Castle, which was the final faction that we needed to take over. Uh, he passed from old age. But again, guys, thanks so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.